back in November, one of our stores, the largest store that we've got, was having a refit, quite a major refit. And a lot of the old racking was being taken out and a lot of the old cabinets was going too. Um, obviously, we're having new cabinets and new racking coming in. At the same time, we were reconfiguring the store and it was going to be fantastic. It is fantastic now. And we were in the middle of that refit. And as a consequence, the backyard of the store was full of rubbish. And I happened to walk out onto the back uh, door and uh, what did I see? I saw all this rubbish just laying around, just been pushed out there in the speed of doing the refit. And everyone was in that shop uh, working hard and focused on getting the shop floor ready for the reopening day. So there, I, I look out and there's this huge, I mean, the biggest uh, skip open skip that I've ever seen come off the back of a low load of lorry. And there it is parked there empty with a yard uh, full of rubbish around it. And everyone was busy, so I thought, actually, this needs sorting. I'm the best one uh, to sort it. Let everyone get on with the shop. I'll start you know, making us operationally okay in the backyard. So I start tidying the skip. I start putting stuff in, in into that skip to tidy up. Now, I come across this large piece, of actually, of a white formica board. It was so big that, as it was, it, I couldn't fit it into the skip. So being a clever man, what I decided to do was to simply bend the formica over and then I decided that if I was to jump on the bend it would depress it, snap it and then I'd easily fit it into the skip. Brilliant plan. Um, it was a little bit damp at the time and my shoes didn't have the best grip on them. So I'd bend it over, it was going fantastic. I get onto the uh, top of the of the fold and I just do kind of like a forceful sort of jump on it. I didn't know what happened next. What happened next happened in the speed of light. You know, I went by the speed of sound. You know, really quick, I fell. Um, I slipped. It was like I was on ice. And I just slipped and I fell. And I went down, wham, on the floor. I mean, really, really bad. One of the hardest falls I think I've always, I've ever experienced in my life. Boom, I went down onto the floor. Now, in my youth, if I'd have had a fall like that, I probably would have got up a lot faster. You know, uh, maybe the embarrassment of it would have, you know, got me up quick to make sure I look around, make sure no one's looking. Um, but it didn't happen this time. You know, I'm 55 years young and uh, I went down so hard. I went down kind of on my back, but slightly to the side, hurt my arm, knocked the stuffing out of me. Boom, I went back. And I, I just laid there groaning the noises I was making. I couldn't believe it was me. I thought, who's making that noise? Oh, it's me. Oh, you know, oh, just took me. I had just to lay there. I had to lay back, sort of assess what had happened and realise what had happened. What a stupid idiot I'd been. Checked around, saw no one was looking. Thank goodness for that. And um, I had to lay there to get over it and sort of to be able to suddenly recover slightly and then get myself up. Now, the point is of this story that in life, we all fall down, don't we? Life comes along and trips us up, makes us fall. And we can go down with some force in life. We can have some really bad falls. But if you have been lucky enough that you haven't fallen yet, watch out because there may be a trip coming your way. If you've already fallen, you know about it. You know what I'm talking about. And you can go down, boom, really badly and fall really badly in life. If you haven't fallen, be careful. That's the thing. Be careful. Being forewarned is forearmed. If you know there might be something out there to trip you up, as you go over, you think, oh, here I go, and you can just steal yourself and remember it and think, get yourself back up again. Life is going to test each and every one of us at some point. It's going to trip us. It's going to make us fall. And some of those falls can be small falls, but some of those falls can be really, really bad, severe. When you go down, boom. Everyone's going to fall at some point. Just think about ice skaters. Even the best ice skaters in the world fall down sometimes. You know, so when we fall, sometimes some of those falls can be, as I said, severe falls, bad falls. And we go down, wham, and we hit the deck. And it knocks the wind out of us. And that fall, it knocks the stuffing out of us. And it just can take things out of us. We're all going to slip in life. We're all going to fall. We're all going to trip. We're all going to fail. The secret is, and I know this from bitter experience, that when you fall, you've got to get straight back up again. The old saying is, if you fall off a horse, make sure you get back up on it straight away. You are going to fall. You've got to. It's imperative. Your life, your happiness depends on the fact that you're going to get back up again and keep carrying on. If you need to rest after a fall, then rest. You may be bruised. You may be bleeding. You may be embarrassed, 
But for God's sake, get back up. My mentor, world speaker, Les Brown, he's got this advice for you. If you fall, make sure that you land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up and make sure that you do. If you're lucky enough that you don't actually fall in life, you may hit the wall. If we don't fall, we might hit the wall. Actually, many of us fall and hit the wall. We do it all. All right, now marathon runners, that's the best analogy of the wall that I can share with you, is that, and I've done a marathon, yeah? I didn't just hit one wall, I hit a billion walls all the way around the marathon, but, you know, true marathon runners, uh, when they're running the marathon, they get to, say, about 18, 20 miles, and they, they hit what's called the wall. They know it's there. They're forewarned, so they're forearmed, and they know that wall's there, and they know they're going to hit it. They get through this pain barrier, where they just want to give up. They've used up everything their body is screaming at them to give up, just to, to let go. But they know, and they know from the experience of other marathon runners, and from experience of themselves when they've done marathons before and they've hit the wall and they've gone through it, when they hit the wall, if they can just keep going and somehow manage to get through it, to get past the wall, they'll finish the race. And actually, as the nearer they get to the wall, they find they pick up some speed and pick up some momentum. Obviously, you can see in a marathon, you see in the end of a marathon, many don't. But, you know, true marathon runners hit the wall and they keep going. Now, people, we all hit a wall sometimes. And that wall is individual for each of us. It's a, it might be a test that we've got to do. It may be that we're going to start a business, you know. We've got great ideas, haven't we? Oh, yeah, we're going to go and do this. We're going to go and do that. And then we hit the wall. And that wall might be going to the bank. And they say, yeah, very good idea. Yeah, we'd love to send, uh, give you some money to help you, you know, give you a loan. But could you just fill in a business plan for me? That might be your wall. And when you get that business plan or even the thought of a business plan, you hit the wall, boom, smack, and you give up. You don't just keep going. When we, some people are put off by the wall, you know, some people don't don't attempt things in life because they might think there might be a wall, an obstacle there for them. And they think, oh, I better not do that because, you know, there's this obstacle and they give up before they even get to the wall. They don't even get to see what the wall looks like. They just give up by the notion of the wall. Some people get talked out of going for things in their life because people say there's going to be a barrier there. There's going to be a wall there that you've got to climb. And these people, the negative people in life, they, they tell you how big the wall is and how difficult it is to climb. In fact, you'll never get over it. So you give up before even going to check it out for yourself. If you hit a wall and if you're not careful and if you have a fall in life, you know, it can affect your confidence and it can affect your belief and it can affect your your will. You have got to, believe me, you've got to rise to the challenge. You have got to force yourself over the wall when you hit a wall. You've got to remember that a wall is just a wall and you are going to climb it, you're going to go round it or you're just going to smash through it. But you're going to get past or over that wall somehow. There ain't no stopping you. And if you have that belief, when you come against the wall, when you come against the barrier in your life, and there'll be plenty that comes there your way. You already know it. You may have already been given, given up by hitting a wall. But you know if you've given up in your life when you've hit a wall and you've given up on a great idea or whatever, well, that was that marathon. Put yourself in another marathon and go for something else in your life. And you know, this time when you think I've got the experience, I know there's a wall there, I know there's a barrier there, well, when I get there, I expect it. I'm four, uh, warmed, I'm four under, it ain't a problem. I will get over the wall this time. You've seen people, haven't you, in the war films, you know, where the uh, troops are training, they've got to get over a wall to pass the assessment and there's always one that can, isn't there? But he just keeps going and he just keeps going those that don't they dnr don't they they uh officer and gentleman you know they dnr and they they leave they give up they don't fulfill their dream but those people that keep going and they look and maybe some of the other people are cheering them on and and and, and willing them on and somehow they just keep going they got that tenacity they eventually get over the wall because each time they try to climb it they find a different way something else a bit of experience i'll do this i'll do that and i'll get over the wall that's what we've got to do in our life Never give up and never give in. I'm a living witness to the fact that you can fall and that you can go down hard. I did it last November. Boom! But I got back up and I carried on. I've fallen in my life too. I've had some big hits and we're all going to get hits in life. I've had a big hit in my life. Put me down. And I was down for a while. I just wish I'd picked myself a lot sooner than I did.
So that's why I'm talking, that's why I'm talking to you now and sharing this with you. Expect to fall, expect to fail. There is no thing to be embarrassed about in failure because failure is a stepping stones to success. So please, we, I'm a living witness. When you fall, when you may have fallen really badly, not got over it yet, not got back up yet, you may be just about to fall. You know, uh, you may be just falling right now. You can get back up and you can get over it and you sure as hell can carry on. Just think of yourself as a marathon runner. Just keep going, keep going. Never give up, never give up. And you, I promise you, you'll get there. Thanks.